If you only have 20... I am so excited because the Step the Out Step TV, Out shows TV shows are back live on T2I TV. And for those who don't know, Step Out is a series of interviews and motivational segments designed to bring the best out of you and your business. Therefore, we have the following TV programs. Our first TV program, which is our flagship program, dubbed Step Out Step with, Out Oscar, with Bimpong, Oscar Bimpong, is designed to interview consultants, experts, talented people, and those doing exceptionally well in their communities. The second one is Step is Out Step SME, Out, SME, SME Focus. 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 This is where we interview business owners and showcase their products and services. The third one is Step is Out step Youth out Impact, Impact Zone. Zone. This is where we interview young people succeeding against all odds to serve as an inspiration to other young people. And the last one is Step Out Authors, Authors Corner. Authors Corner. And this is where we interview authors to share what their book is about to the world. Join us every week. Like T2I TV on Facebook and subscribe to the YouTube channel. To advertise or for further information, do WhatsApp plus 44759-1152983 or plus 233-5580-3924 or email info at traintoinspire.com. T2I TV. We engage, educate, enlighten, and empower. empower. Welcome to another edition of the Step Out with us, Kabimpong. And tonight, I am going to be your regular host. And tonight, trust me, if you are watching us, I want you to call somebody, to call another somebody for you to watch this show together. The Step Out with Oscar Bimpo, for those that don't know, is where we interview experts, consultants, people doing exceptional well in their communities, and talented people. And tonight, I have got an expert and a consultant that is going to be part of our show. For those that don't know me, my name is Oscar Bimpo. I'm an author. I am a transformational speaker, where I call it the old motivational speaker. And also, I am a business consultant, the corporate trainer. It's going to be an amazing discussion. Trust me, this is our season for us to seize the opportunity to do things differently. And that is what this program is all about. Now, before I go on to my show and call in um, for the guests, to join us, I want to do some few mentions of our sponsors. This program is sponsored by Train to Inspire Consultancy. That is your business training and consulting firm. Train to Inspire also work with schools, colleges, and universities in terms of the personal development of businesses, in terms of the personal development of students. Then also ALS Global Shipping and Logistics. That is your um, trusted import and export company based in Accra. ALS says if you are stranded at the port, call them and they will sort you out. Also, ZP Ghana Limited, your remittance and mobile money company based in Accra. They just launched their ZP Mobile Money USSD code, which is star 270 hash. Just dial it on your phone and register for ZP Mobile Money. Then Wheels for Sure. Wheels for Sure says that it doesn't matter your credit history, you can walk out of the garage with a car of your choice. Now, who is for sure, in COVID season, a lot of people don't want to use public transport. But at the same time, they don't have the right credit to really get the car of their choice. Wheels for sure says, contact them. And they are, going to, they are not going to punish you for not having a very good credit, but they are going to work with you so that you get the car of your choice. I think they are a very benevolent company. When you call them, just... Um, quote T2I 2020, and you are going to get a very good deal. 
Now, if you want to contact any of our sponsors, their contact details are scrolling the screen, take them and contact them. Also, if you really want to really sponsor any of our shows, take the number for TTY TV UK and Train to Inspire Consultancy. Now, I want you to understand this. If you are watching us also, and you want to support what we are doing, you are more than happy to do so. Somebody will say, Oscar, I have got nothing to advertise or nothing to sponsor, but I want to invest in what you are doing. You are also welcome to do so. Why? Because we want to touch the corners of the earth. We want to impact the African continent and those in diaspora. And we cannot do it with only Oscar or my small team. We need a lot of people to come about to support. Now, when we talk about support, what a lot of people think about is, is money. Money is one form of a support. Giving the platform a good idea is also another form of support. Using your resources, your technological ideas for us to drive this platform so that we can engage with a lot of people is a form of support. We want you to come on board to support what we are doing. I always say that we from the African continent and diaspora, most of the times, when we are doing something great, we fold our arms and see how far the person can go before we, we jump on board to support. Learn to support people when they are at the sea stage so that when they get to the harvesting stage, you become part of the story and the success story also becomes part of you. And that is how we should live our life. Now I've been talking so much. The question is, who do I have on the horse seat? I came into contact with this man some years back. And since then, any time I get the opportunity to speak to him, I go back to pursue my vision. Now, these are the kind of people you need in life. People that after conversation make you restless. They make you feel that you are not working hard enough. And this is the sort of man that I'm talking about. Now, who is this man? He's an online entrepreneur. He's a digital marketing consultant, and he's a personal development coach. He is in the person of Douglas Nemo. Please welcome to Step Out with Oscar Bimpo, and you are live on T2I TV UK. Yes. Please welcome to uh, Step Out with Oscar Bimpo and we're live on T2ITV. Okay. Can you hear me? Hello? I, I can hear you. Can you hear me, please? Yeah, I can hear you. Uh, I can oh. hear you now. No, that's fine. Thank you for the warm welcome. Thank wow. you for the nice nice introduction. It's It's a pleasure coming onto your show. And um, I can say uh, it's amazing all the work that you've been doing. The last time I joined your live interview, I really enjoyed it. And I was just <laughs> commenting and commenting and commenting. And it's um, it's interesting that we've been having a lot of um, um, talks um, I mean, privately. And now finally being able to come onto your show and to give uh, my contribution. Wow. Now let's go straight to business because time is already fast spent. But our topic is something that I think it cuts across everybody because it's, it's, it's the new age. And our yeah. topic is how to leverage the power of the internet to transform your life. Now, before I go on, because of your passion for the internet and the way you have used the internet to transform your life, and not only your life, but even your children and the people around you. I want to ask, are you from an IT background? Yes, I started um, 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 as an art student, pure marketing, like business. But mm -hmm. I always had a passion for IT. So I ended up doing um, like IT, but IT, I focused more on web programming and marketing. So I had that combination of web it and marketing so wow. that's that's the background here yeah. wow so i think so it means that you do your own website and you market your own products right yes i started 
<laughs> so that's where um, I started. Before I was in, I was in Germany. And my, my wife is a German. We are blessed with seven children. So um, we moved from Germany to UK uh, in 2008. So when I came to UK, I came with my business. So I've not worked in the UK for anybody before. I've always, um, I was always passionate with the internet. And before I started with the internet, I used to be in the music business. I had my own record um, shop in Germany. It was flourishing. And um, I was also into music production. And I remember one of the artists in Ghana that we brought out, that was um, a Comfort Quade. That was uh, one of the artists that was um, uh, was on our Vibe Town Records uh, label. And then, then came the crash, the big crash the, with Napster, with when um, and the music business went down. And I walked into a record store. I, uh, I walked into a, um, a store. I closed my shop because business was no more. Uh, music business was down. And when I lost everything, like music business, I went to a store and I picked a German book in Germany, a very book, about 500 pages on HTML. And that's when I started learning how to program, learning how to build websites. And wow. then gradually, gradually, it became a passion of mine. And I turned into a business um, building sites for churches and then for small business. So when I came to UK, some of the um, um, small business companies within the African community and I mean other communities, I had I run my own agency for about seven years before I switched to creating my own products. All right, we will come to that. We will come to that. But, but let me ask you this. Do you think this generation understand the enormous power of the internet? Um, I see um, the, the thing now, you know, I've been preaching about um, creating this awareness for a while. And I see a lot of, I mean, within the, let's say the African community. You see, I'm 53 and our generation I mean, a lot of people around my age and even younger, younger are not, they, they, we have the data here. Like I always say, we have the data here in Europe, in America, as compared to um, Africa, we don't have issues with data, but we are not using the internet in a way that benefits us. We are not using it to transform our lives. In fact, we live in the best, I mean, um, era in one of the best eras in human history. And the only thing you, 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 you need now is before, like, look at how we traveled from Africa, from our different countries to UK for different purposes. The stress that people go through. But now I always say that the, 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 what you need now is internet access knowledge and application of that knowledge. To turn your life around. Yeah. So it means that it's like we, we are just using, for example, when you look at social media, mm -hmm. we, are just, we are just using the social bit of the media, mm -hmm. but the business bit of the media. That's how can we change the minds of people when it comes to that? You see, when you let, let, let's take Facebook for example. Facebook, there there always there are two entries to Facebook. When you type in Facebook.com, you go to the normal Facebook where you interact with people. When you type in business.facebook.com, uh -huh, that's where you go to do business. Mm. That's where a lot of people, I mean, people, I have friends who are making millions online. And, and um, for example, let, let me give you um, a classic example. I was among the top 10 um, in, in one area in digital marketing called affiliate marketing. I was among the top 10 last year and we were picked to the USA. And that company makes about 150, 100 to 150 million a year. They put us in a $2.5 million house, Airbnb with private caterers. The only thing I had to pay was my, 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 uh, my flight. They sponsored everything. And we were 10 people. I was the only black and African person. And we, there were three ladies. So one of the, um, the, the companies, the CEO said, they, they love how we were made up at that event, but they want to see more in America. They say, they, he said in his own words, we want to see more people of color 
That's what he said. So when I was coming back from the US after the event for this mastermind, my whole idea was to preach this digital awareness to other people. And the thing is, we're talking how we can change that mindset. We have to ask ourselves, what do you, what do you want in life? What is the outcome? If you look at the way we live here, um, I was listening to one of your programs before with Ismail, with two parents, with a youth, for example, with two parents having to work a lot and sometimes not the time to take care of the kids. For example, I'm a dad of seven. And I realized that if I'm to take care of these kids, I can't go out and work in my consulting um, area. And that's when I discovered the internet. So we have to think about freedom, changing our mindset. One of the core things in life that everyone desires is freedom. And the internet gives us three. One, time freedom, location freedom, and it can give you financial freedom. Mm. And most of us here, we wish, a lot of Africans in my age group, they wish to go back home and contribute. But the thing is, you have a work here, a job here that you can't leave. So a lot of people have to wait till they retire at 65. So I asked myself the other time, why am I here? For me, I can just take my laptop and off. And in, and in fact, next year I'm off because I can work from anywhere in the world. Mm -hmm. And these are some of the things that we need to think that would change in our mindset, thinking in terms of freedom, flexibility, time with your family. These are mm -hmm. things that we can tap into the internet to really transform our lives. But, but somebody will say it's, it's easier said than done, isn't it? <laughs> yes. If it were so easy, <laughs> everybody <Yeah>. would. <laughs> <laughs> Oscar, that's that that's very true. I have one friend ask me, just me, Doc, how much can I earn in a week? <laughs> when I start. They are always thinking about the money, but not putting <laughs> in the work. Isn't it? And I'm saying, look, you don't have any skill yet. <laughs> I say, look, Oscar, look at this. You see, that's part of the mindset. It's it's so strange. People take their time, three to four years, they study to get a degree. Look at this. Mm -hmm. Three, four years, study to get a degree. By the time you finish, I'm, my own son has got his degree. He's got about 40,000 in debt. You see? And then, after that, that's when you start looking for a job. Mm -hmm. You see, look at the time it takes. And mm -hmm. to get a job and then being trained, and that's where you start earning money. But when people start online, they don't, even give, they don't even give themselves three months or six months to learn skills. It, it's, it's Online is about mindset, it's about skill set and tool set. Those three, mindset, skill set, tool set, tool set. So you need a combination of these three things. What skills do you have? What problems can you solve online? Businesses are looking for solutions. Every business has a problem. The main problem of every business is getting customers. Mm. Can you help business get customers? Mm. Imagine, you know, um, a dentist, you say, I can bring all, you know, uh, um, um, a shipping company, you say, here, I can give you 10 customers every day. How much do you think you're going to earn? Mm. So there are skills and a lot of people, one of the top skills online, one of the top skills is learning about like advertising mm -hmm. a lot of top top agencies are facebook or social media marketing agencies their whole job is getting clients for companies there are mm -hmm. so many of them so it's not that easy it takes time mm -hmm. everything worthwhile takes time i always say if i don't care if it will take me 10 years but i know that when i get there what I can make in a month can be somebody's yearly income. Of course, of course. It's about putting in the, the effort and the time. But the you made effort. yeah, but you made a very profound statement that we go for degrees for three, four years. Sometimes we add the masters and the PhD mm -hmm. before even we start looking for jobs. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, when it comes to uh, starting a business or um, become an online entrepreneur or any mm -hmm. kind of thing that we have, we want results real quick. Mm -hmm. We want to get mm -hmm. real quick. Uh, mm -hmm. Don't you think that is our downfall? Uh, Oscar, that, that's the thing. You see, education is everything. Mm. Education is everything. Just, just as you go to uni to acquire knowledge, mm. that will help you earn something. The same way, the same way, when you start online, you have to invest in your online education. That's the first thing. Mm. Online education. You need to find a mentor, find a course, and then apply the things that you learn. It gradually, gradually. And then once online, the most important thing, the most important thing is to have a, your first sale. Whether you are selling a course, you are selling um, you are in e-commerce or anything, the first sale is the most important. The mm. first sale gives you the validation that it works. Mm. You see? So don't look at, don't look at, oh, how much I'm, I'm going to make. Focus only on the first sale. Whatever you're doing, because whatever you do online or in life, you have to sell something. Mm. What can you sell? Do you, do you have the knowledge to sell? You can package your knowledge in a course or a mentorship. You can go into e-commerce. You can sell on Amazon, anything. But whatever you do, focus on the first sale. That's the biggest domino that you have to focus on. Once you hit that domino, you see that the other dominoes will be falling, will be falling, will be falling. I remember wow. when I started, my first month was I made four, four sales on Amazon. I made four sales on Amazon and then um, I, was, I was over the moon. That was $22 in a month. And this is a time that I've moved from looting to stock. And I was starting brand new. I was not doing photography. I was not doing building website for clients. I, I was starting brand new. And I had three months to prove, to, to, to make it work. Otherwise, I will have to look for a job. And for me, the hardest thing, because I've not worked for, I've not worked for anybody since 2005. My last job was in a consultant um, um, a, 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 um, SAP consulting for that was 2005. Since 2006, I've been working on, on my own. So my lifestyle is built around the family and stuff like that. So the, 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 the hardest thing for me is to go out and look for a job. So I had to make it work. You see, when your back is against the wall, sometimes we are too comfortable. That's the thing. You are too comfortable. We live, especially here, if your bills are not paid, the government can take care of. They, they, they'll pay for you. But if you, if you, you, you have to set yourself up mm. that I have to, I can make it. You see, mm. Les, Les Brown says you have to be hungry, Oscar. That, that's the mindset. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. You, you have to be hungry. And mm. after that, that of seven, I've had times that, you know, you, I'm hungry. I'm always hungry. Mm. You see, because the sky is the limit. I have friends who have made millions online. I talk with them. When they need advice, they come to me. And I know if they've, they've made it, I can make it. It's just a matter of time and me keeping my focus, keeping my focus. So now it's about impact. I want to teach other people. I want to help other people, especially Africans in the diaspora and those on the continent. Because the internet is, is our savior. Mm. The if our leaders will invest in that, youth mm. will not have problems finishing school and waiting for a job and stuff like that. Whilst there are many opportunities for those here in diaspora and those back on the continent. Now, if you are watching us, please, we encourage you to share this for somebody to have an opportunity to watch this interview. Because some of these interview is 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 is. is it's very critical to the success of somebody. And we want to encourage you. That is the only small thing you can do to really bless this platform. Also, if you are watching us, we encourage you to like our page. That is T2I TV UK and uh, on Facebook and also on YouTube. Just be part of this family because this family is about education. It's about empowerment. It's about changing the mindset of our people. Why? because we have stood at a certain level for family love. Now, let me ask you this question. And one time I was speaking to you and you told me that 
um, you had a big offer from Apple and you turn it down just because you had a vision. Now, the reason why I'm asking you this question is that a lot of people don't even know what they want in life. Everybody would have thought at the time that you are very crazy, that your business hasn't picked up, you have got an offer from Apple and you said no. Apple is not a small company. Apple is like Barcelona or Manchester United coming for you. <laughs> and you want it. So I, I, I'm just wondering, it means that you had a purpose that was beyond the understanding of so many ordinary people. When, how did you get to that stage? Yes, I remember that was, um, that was when I was making the transition from uh, my website agents, web development agency company to um, creating products like into e-commerce and digital digital products. So I, I had this call, um, um, like email or call from from Apple, and this is from Apple headquarters, not um, from a head headhunter or something. And they saw my, uh, I think on LinkedIn, or they saw my CV somewhere because back in the days you just put your CVs out there, and they were looking for because I speak German as well. They were looking for somebody like um, uh, marketing, CRM, that area with German, um, uh, it was a German-based role. So they contacted me and they, we, we had a chat. The lady was speaking English um, and then she switched to German. Because then, so if you had written on your CV that you can speak German and then <laughs> they switched to German. <laughs> so we started speaking German and we were laughing and stuff. And um, yeah, it was. I was listening. It was interesting because the package was was not bad at all. This was uh, um, Apple headquarters where you have Google and Facebook. I mean, around the same corner. And um, so I was not interested in the, in the in the job because my plan was I'm not going to work. But then I was interested as it was going. I said, hmm. So the following day, um, the interview continued. That's when the main boss, her boss, came in and. They, they emailed me the package and everything and with the health staff, um, all the, and this was the time that I really needed money. This was the time that my business has not even picked up. This is the time that, I mean, I was like, should I, should I go? Should I? <laughs> and then I called my sister and some friends. Everybody said, go, 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 go. And then the next day they said they were calling for the final thing. And then when they called, I told them that um, I can't, I can't, because I had invested so much into myself with this online thing. I had invested at that time into Jeff Walker, and Jeff Walker is one of the um, one of the best digital marketers in the world. His students have made over a billion in sales. If you Google Jeff Walker on Forbes, you know. So Jeff Walker was my first mentor. I, I, I was invested about over two thousand in his program. And I'm still part of his of his mentorship program, and other other mentors. And I said, the thing is, if I go, if I do this job, the thing with knowledge job is, this is the thing, Oscar. With knowledge job, when you work in a factory and you close five o'clock or McDonald's, you close, you come home, you know you are done. But when you work in in uh, when you work as an when, when you are a knowledge worker, social worker, or all this kind of stuff. When you close, physically you are not there, but mentally you bring job back home. Yes. <laughs> Do you get me? So the whole thing is I look at the thing and I have to learn all the Apple products and I have to. And for me, I'm one of the, the guys I don't, when I say I'm doing this, I mess myself. That's when I'm mm -hmm. able to get results faster. I put all my all in. So mm -hmm. I said, good, that which means. I'll have to pack everything, all the things I've done, and then start to learn everything about Apple products so that I want to be the best, one of the best there. Mm. You see? So that's why I said no, because I know I was not far from my breakthrough. I know I was not far from where mm. I wanted to be. And that's the thing. Right from the beginning, I decided, I made that decision, I'm going to make my money online. Mm. I'm going to make... I don't care how long it's going to take. I don't care about the obstacles, and there were obstacles, you know. And but still, when this opportunity came, I was, I looked beyond. I saw the end, you know. I could see, you know, the vision, and I didn't take it. And 
Then we moved to Stoke on Trent. You know, that was that was the fact that was um because we were planned to move, we moved. And when we moved, that's when the Amazon opportunity came. Mm. And I joined the Amazon um, I mean print on my business that you know about. Yeah, I think I think I think we will come to that, but I think it's just an amazing story. But you see, there is one thing I've seen that if you are surrounded by a lot of job stickers, I always say this: that if you like on LinkedIn, when when it's the um, anniversary of my job, when you see people sending so much messages that sometimes I don't even have time to even respond. Yeah. But when you start a business, nobody even congratulates you. No, 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 no. All is skewed to the mindset no. of that job seeking and that fear no. of the unknown always keeps us to that angle that that oh, is yeah. the only way you can survive. And I think it's very difficult, but I think people like you have really broken the chains that people oh, yes. believe that it can be done, isn't it? Oh, yes. I mean, I'm, I'm a dad of seven. <laughs> you know, I've a dad of seven, and if, wow. if a dad of if a dad of seven can do it, I mean, if you come, if you come home, um, it's like like headquarters. I mean, you have. I teach my kids to, to do the same. My son is 10, 28 yesterday, and he had his degree about four years ago, four five years ago, I mean marketing, and I started training him when he was thirteen. So, when if he, he, he was about to go to uni, he took he took a gap year. And he, he worked with me for one year. We were building websites for clients and stuff like that. And he went to uni. So when he was at a uni, I was not giving, giving him money because he had, had, I, I, he had some of my clients and he had his own business, you know? Mm -hmm. So I always say like to the kids, you don't have to wait till you finish uni before you start making money. Mm -hmm. You have the, in, you have internet, Instagram, you have everything. All you need is skills. Don't wait like we waited. We've wasted so much of our time, so much of our time, you know. Mm. So that's why it's so important. So if somebody like myself with such a big family can can move around, can have the freedom, can choose to sleep the whole day and work later, I can. I'm 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 boss of my time, and all the investment that I made, the sacrifice I made, they are paying off. I told I told my family next year, let's go back home. Mm. I've been out for a while and I want to go back home and 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 contribute and mm. help the younger ones coming up. And I can only do that because my business is is I always say it's in the air. Mm. <laughs> it's you know, it's yeah. I'm in the UK, but I don't I, I'm in the UK, but I don't have a business here. It's mm. I have a global business, so I can live anywhere just mm. give me internet that's why i was asking you the other time about the fastest broadband and stuff all i need is an internet and then i can i can work from there and i, I even see massive i even see i can even make more money when i am in ghana now because in in ghana or in africa we take things for granted now with what i know even if i just go to the market and see some of the things you can work with a small team. They can produce some beautiful jewelry or, you know, handmade stuff, and you can sell online. Mm -hmm. So I see massive opportunity. So I, mm -hmm. I just can't wait mm -hmm. <laughs> for to, for the kids to be on vacation. Um, I mean, to finish that term and then move back home and you know work from there. And it won't make any change. You won't even if I don't tell you. I mean, Ghana. You won't even notice. Notice. That's yeah. how. Powerful the internet is. Of course, of course. <laughs> <laughs> like somebody will send me a message, say, are you there or you're in the UK? Because I don't know where, where you are now at the moment, you know. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that, that, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, you know, it's 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 and these are stuff that we need to we need to invest. It takes time, it's yeah. not easy in the beginning, it takes time, yeah. but the results it's it's worth it's 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 life changing. Not only for you, but for your family. Mm. Yeah, exactly. Now, now let me move into this. Now, what should one look out for if they want to start an internet business? Good. There are different um, business models online. Mm. Let me let me say let's say the, the two main ones are let's say e-commerce. 
I mean, e-commerce is it e-commerce can be physical products or digital products. But normally when people say e-commerce, they, they talk about physical products. So let's say you want to go into e-commerce. You have options. Before we will have clients coming to us, oh, they, they, they want to go into e-commerce. They want to have, the first thing they want to do is have their own website. Mm. So a website like www.oscar.com, and then you will build your website and you put your products there. These days, I always tell people, you don't need that now. When you're starting, don't start with your website. What you have to do is plug into existing marketplaces. Mm. Amazon is a powerhouse. Amazon, I think, controls almost 50% of e-commerce online. Mm. Etsy, it's a, an e-commerce giant. And even, do you know, Oscar, Walmart, Walmart is now one of the, I mean, powerful e-commerce giants mm. in the world. Mm. You know, so when you're starting don't start with your website plug into the existing marketplaces you mm -hmm. can set up um create an um and um, um depending on what you want to sell you you can start with an amazon store or you can sell on etsy so mm -hmm. look at the um, um um a lot of our ladies can sew very well they know how to sew very well you know these COVID, COVID times what people some people some people they were they were just sewing the, 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 the face mask. Mm -hmm. And it was one of the hottest products on Etsy, online. I have one of my friends, I jumped in later because I was, the beginning I was like, hmm, I was a, a bit hesitant, but he had already made over 40,000 in sales. Wow. Just with a face mask. And that was even print on demand. You know, mm -hmm. so there are many business models online when you're starting. Mm -hmm. But my personal favorite you know, because when you are starting, before you start a business, normally you need one, the inventory. Mm. You need the inventory, so you need capital. Mm. But sometimes you don't have the capital to start. And this makes starting with marketplace very, very easy. That's why I love personally print on demand. Mm. And print on demand is is um, drop, it's a form of drop shipping business. Mm. Drop shipping it's basically where you don't have inventory. You don't ship yourself. So when there is a sale, I mean, let me explain the main dropshipping. For example, the main dropshipping is most of the stores, online store that you see, they are they do dropshipping. So when you go to, let's say, Oscar, you have a store, oscar.com. You see products there. So the products are there. The products are just mock-ups. They are just products, you know, mock-ups. They don't have the inventory there. So when I click and I buy, let's say, the shoe, as soon as there is a sale, you get the money and you send my details to the manufacturer or to the, to the supplier to fulfill. Mm. So I don't touch the products. Mm. I don't touch the products. So you don't, that kind of business is a system because you don't, you don't, you don't deal with, you know, shipping and all this kind of stuff. And that's yeah. what print on demand also does. In fact, a lot of people use Ali AliExpress for dropshipping. AliExpress and Shopify. They open their Shopify store. You go on AliExpress. You look at all the products that you can, if you want chain and watches. And then you use Facebook traffic. So when you check your Facebook feed, when you're on Facebook, you are scrolling. You see sometimes products. Mm. And when you click, it takes you to maybe their Shopify store. Mm. You know, so you can start with e-commerce. And e-commerce, you can start with drop shipping, or you can do print on demand drop shipping. With print on demand, print on demand is what I do every day. That's my main thing. With print on demand, what you do is you don't you create design files. You create a design files and you partner with companies like Amazon, um, Printful, different different companies, and they will supply the garment. Before you will need a lot of money to buy, let's say you want to start a t-shirt business. Mm. You will need um, not only one color, maybe you black and navy. Let's take only black. Look at the sizes, XL, 2XL, 3XL, medium, and all this kind of, and then you take another color. Mm. So let's say you have all these things at home and you don't sell. What happens? You sit on your inventory. Mm -hmm. Print on demand business model takes that pain out. Print on demand there's only going to be the items are printed when there is a sale. Mm. 
So Amazon has the biggest print on demand on, on, on the planet. It's called Merch by Amazon. They launched in 2015 and I joined nine days after they launched. So I was even invited to speak at one of their conferences in the, in the UK. So these are some of the models when it comes to e-commerce. And there is also, maybe you heard of, about it, FBA. FBA is fulfillment by Amazon. FBA is when you create an Amazon seller, they call it seller central, seller central account. You create your account and then you source products. If you want to see products that are selling, type in bestsellers, Amazon bestsellers. Amazon has bestsellers, they update every two hours on in each category, just to give you an idea what people are buying. And then they go to China, find a company, and then they'll buy or they'll produce for them. And FBA, you don't, it's called fulfillment by Amazon. So the manufacturer will give you samples when everything is fine. They will ship the items to Amazon's warehouse. That's why Amazon has got massive warehouse around the globe. They will ship the items to Amazon's warehouse. And then you will list the products in your seller central account and to be on and published on Amazon. So when somebody buys something, you do what Amazon will ship the items for you. So this gives you that freedom to travel around whilst you run your business. Mm -hmm. So that's the e-commerce side. Another side is the is is creating digital products. Do you have expertise in something? Maybe you know how to cook the best jollof. You can turn that knowledge into a course. Maybe you know how to do the best shit on the planet. You can you can teach people how to do it. Mm. and you can create a course that's digital product so you can create a course the biggest platform for selling digital products is udemy mm. you can put it out there how to make shit all in 10 minutes mm -hmm. and people will put it, your price people start buying you can mm. sell that on your website so digital products it's it's very good it's very profitable because you don't package anything it's just you know the courses you record the courses so that's 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 one thing, yeah. So you have the digital product side and you have the physical product side mm. when you are starting. If you are into software, you can also create a software that can solve a problem. They call it SA um, um, software as a service, S SaaS software as a service. You can mm. create a software and people can subscribe and pay like on a monthly basis. Mm -hmm. So there's wow. these are some of the things. Wow, wow. This is this is quite um it's it's quite interesting. Um it's like getting more of the details to really understand as you are watching us. This is not as complex as you think. It's about you having the time to really get the right people that can coach you and direct you for you to understand. Now, if you are watching us, we want to encourage you to share this. Let somebody get the opportunity to watch this. Drop it on WhatsApp groups. Drop it on your Facebook page and groups. Also, like our page, TTY TV UK, and also subscribe to our YouTube channel. These are the kind of discussions that we bring to you on the weekly basis. Now, when you want to do all these, you need to have some skills. You need to develop yourself personally for you to really achieve this kind of vision. Now, what are some of the personal development skills that you need for you to really succeed in your internet-based business? The number one, like I said in the beginning, um, it's mindset, skill set, and tool set. Mm. So let's talk about the mindset. The number one, the number one is believe. Mm. You need to believe in yourself. Mm. If you believe is everything. Remember the, the Russell Branson's training. The mm. first one, the one for now we're telling, the first one is belief. Mm. Belief is everything. This, uh, who said, he said, the belief in a thing makes it happen. Yes. And mine also is always possible if only you believe, huh? Ah, you see, you see, <laughs> that's, that's my believe, that, Oscar. Believe is everything, and 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 the, and the thing is, and that's why I, lo I love this this phrase in the Bible it says, if even if you you have um um um, um, um a a small master seed, yes. yes, and you can move one. Just you don't need um um <laughs> the size like this. <laughs> Just a tiny one. Yes, you know. So that's where it starts. You know, most of the time, that's the massive problem I've seen. People start, hmm, let me see, maybe. Mm. If it's maybe, don't yeah. start. 
Don't start. <laughs> Maybe is the worst thing you can do when you are starting a business. Oh, 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 I'm going to try. <laughs> <laughs> so beginning, when, when you start with, I'm going to try, or maybe you are, it's, uh, it's, you are, you are out. Oh, let's see what happens. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, so I have a, I have a friend who came to me and said, Oscar, look, I want to go to Ghana to go and see uh, what happens. I'm just going to try and see. I said, don't go. Don't go because you have already failed before you bought the plane. Because Oscar, if, exactly. If you say you're going to try, then it means that you face any challenge, you are coming back. You have to that, that, that's the thing. that I'm going to win. That, that, that's the thing. And that, that was why I was able to reject Apple's offer. Mm -hmm. You know, because I, I I knew I hundred percent because others have done it. Mm -hmm. It's not it's not like others have done it and they are doing it. Mm -hmm. So I just have to give myself some time and 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 and, and learn. So when you are starting, believe it's going to you are going to make it. If you don't believe it, don't start it. Mm -hmm. And why do you have to believe? Because others have done it. People like myself. Who start from nowhere with, with, I mean, with a family of a big family like myself. Not, not only myself, my son is even watching now. He finished university, his degree he has never used it to work. Mm. And he, he was traveling the world. He always tell me that I should have given you my, my, my students loan because student finance, because you, you have been teaching me all the time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, so we joke about that. And not only that, my daughter is also working online my other son is 18 he's also working online i have a friend who is 83 he's making a lot of money working online mm. you know so the mindset like oh i'm too old mm. i'm too old oh i'm a computer illiterate one of my first students fred he was a computer illiterate but he had a burning desire to learn how to make money online mm. in fact when we when he started his wife even uh, uh, now laughs. We, we used to laugh about it. I would say he would look at the keyboard, the com like uh, he's looking for his lost money. <laughs> 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 and then, <laughs> and then I would say A, and he would be looking, looking, looking. But <laughs> but he was willing to learn. Yes. You know, even when we started, he was still waiting for his immigration thing to go through. But he was willing to learn. Mm. So I was teaching him. I said, that's all, all I need, mm. your willingness. Mm. And then we started. And gradually, I said, you know, Photoshop, he knew nothing. Even a computer, we had to prepare the laptop before mm. we could start. And now, now he has sold, I think, online over 3,000 products. Wow. wow. You know, and he designs, he's killed, you know. So if you can go past... Mm. Those limiting beliefs mm. that I can't do it. I'm too old. Mm. I don't know much about computers. No one was born with computers. Mm. Look at Word. Take take Microsoft, Microsoft Word. Mm. You just need a, a tiny little bit to to, mm. to you. I mean, it's so huge. Those programs you can't learn everything. You mm. always learn what you know you need for the job. So if you can type a little bit. And these days, I can show you some software. You don't even have to type. You just talk and it writes for you. Mm. You see, I was showing a friend who wanted to write a book. And I, I don't type fast. So mm. what I do is I go to Google Doc. I pick it up and I just start talking. <laughs> and it writes. And I'll just go through and correct it. And it's done. You know, by the time you realize I've, I've written three, four pages. You know, I didn't type. I just talked. So they are so, these are tools that just part of the tool set. So when it comes to mindset, belief is the first thing. You have to believe. Mm. Don't come with maybe. And if you believe, and the second is patience. Mm. Patience. Have patience. If you can combine the two, you would definitely, definitely make it. Mm. When that's the mindset area. Wow, mm. wow, wow. wow. And, and I think that is what, you see, it's not even about online business. It's about every mm -hmm. facet of our life. Every, every yes. Start across the mindset and having the belief that it can be done. Mm -hmm. And I think mm -hmm. the problem a lot of people have is patience. 
Patience. Hey. <laughs> Patience. <laughs> and no. people want to start business today, they want to make it tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. You see, I always say that if you want to see money, you want to start something today and see money tomorrow, go and look for a job. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But if you want to start something where you don't, you don't know why you are going to see money, that is what we call vision. That's it. That's it. Because you can be doing it for weeks, you can be doing it for months, for years, and you haven't seen money. Nobody plays, nobody kicks the football and they get paid. I take my son to football and this boy started playing football at the age of five and six. Now, oh, they, yes. are, okay. now they are 14 years and nobody has given them 10 pounds for you winning see? the game. These are sacrifices. So when you see that person now playing for Chelsea and you are thinking mm -hmm. that it happened overnight, no, you are a big liar. Mm -hmm. The time no. and the effort they have put in for them to get to that level, you don't have a clue. And that is what the mindset people should have. If you don't have that mindset, then you have to go and look for a job because with yes. job, they are going to give you a definite date of making money. You yeah. start today, they say you will make your money in 14 days. You start today, they will tell you you make your money in 30 days. You are rest assured. Whether the business goes on or it doesn't go on, you are making your money. But if you have got a vision, then forget it. That's it. You have to pass through the process. That's it. That, 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 that's not ahead of anybody. No. You that's powerful. You cannot start a business without registering your company. No. It's a process. Mm -hmm. You cannot make your first sale without advertising. It's a process. Mm -hmm. So we need to understand this. And I think if people get to understand this, then they are going to see the bigger picture of what they are really putting themselves into. That's so it. that when they get any shocks, they are not going to give up, isn't it? That, that, that's exactly. That's what, like you said with the process. A lot of people see the results. Yes. Like people are making it millionaires. Oh, this this guy has made, it. but they don't know the process. No. There's no, no overnight success. No. A lot of no. people, I mean, put in so much mm. to get there. So many rejections, even at the mm. point that even their, their marriages it affects their marriages. If you are if you're an entrepreneur, you you know what I'm talking about. It's sometimes you know the money's not coming. Oh, yeah. You know, and and you have um, bills and stuff to pay, but then you have to look beyond. You have to look. You have to persevere. Mm. You see, and this is this is you have. There is a process for everything. Of course, there is a process. Of course, if you if you if you see if you uh, if, uh, like what you said, a friend of mine that the, 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 the in Ghana, this man got his pension, and. He went into farming and he, he he started, you know, maize farming and he was in like, everything has got a process. There's a time to sow time. But this man was like putting fertilizer and like, <laughs> <laughs> he was like, <laughs> he saw, you know, he, he had, you know, he, he had a boundary with the, with an, another man's farm and that man's, farm if you see the maize yeah. they were big so this man was putting fertilizer it was like he's got a man he's pushing it and he was he was like forcing <laughs> you know what happened his maize like they, they they couldn't grow they became small and they became small and they they, 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 they started you know bearing fruit so you can imagine <laughs> so so, so the man, the man went wild. So when he came home, instead of the wife, you know, um, you know, when in Africa, in you know, Ghana, when the food is ready, the, the mom will bring all the dishes yeah. and pour. The man took over. <laughs> <laughs> he was he, he was he was portioning everything because he had lost everything. Wow. <laughs> you see, so there's a process. Mm -hmm. If you don't go through the process, you can cut corners, mm. but then when you get there, you realize that mm. it's not built on a, on a solid foundation. Yeah. Now yeah. I always say I can I can leave everything. I always say 
just give me my, I can just buy my ticket and take my laptop. I can leave every, I don't need anything. Mm. Just empty my bank account. Mm. And then I can go to Ghana. Mm. I have the skills. When I get there that day, I can start making money. Mm. Because I've built, a, I mean, everything on solid foundation. The thing is, I've invested a lot in myself. Mm. And mm. I still invest. This year, I took one of the best marketers in e-commerce. His mm. training alone is his mentorship is alone is ten thousand dollars. Wow! And that that's what people don't invest in themselves. Mm. And that that that's that that sometimes you know look at the money that people pay at universities. Mm. And when you finish university, you need only ten percent of what you 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 learned. A lot of things you you will never live, need in life. Mm. You yes. never need in life. But when it comes to online, online, you learn from people who have produced results. Mm -hmm. And university, sometimes you are taught by people who just follow curriculum. Mm -hmm. they, they, they've not even done business before, but they are mm -hmm. teaching you how yeah. to, you know, make it in business. Mm -hmm. You see? And then it takes three good years. Mm -hmm. And about 40,000. And then when you finish, oh, I said, no, let me top up with masters. When you go to LinkedIn, look, 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 look. When I go to LinkedIn, I, I always start laughing. Look at the names. You mm -hmm. see the African name. You see MCYA, BSC, YMCA. <laughs> <laughs> and then, and then you see, you, you, and you see Bill Gates, only Bill Gates, only the name. Mm -hmm. You see Richard Branson, nothing. No, no, no. That's it. This is Richard Branson. But we we will learn, 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 learn. when are we going to use what we've learned to create systems, systems that will free us, that will give us freedom and also make an impact. And the internet is a God-given opportunity for us. You can sit in a small corner of your room and tap into a global audience. Mm. It's it's amazing. If I show you some of the people who has who have this knowledge and they are making it in Ghana, I saw one developer. She's a programmer in Ghana, sitting in a quiet corner. She's she's made over fifty thousand in Ghana, selling her skills on a freelance platform. Mm. So that's why I tell, I tell the children, especially the young ones, don't waste the, you know, the, our children don't have the drive that we, we, we used to have. Mm. So they waste a lot of time. Mm. Wow. They waste a lot of time playing games. I say, there's time to play, you can play your games, but make sure you learn some skills because mm. it's the skills that will take you anywhere. Wow, 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 wow. It's still for anyone. Our time is really fast spent, trust me. And um, <laughs> yes, you made mention of rejection, and I think rejection is one of the tools you have to use to our advantage. I, I remember when I was in Ghana, I was moving from one TV station from another, having meetings with these top TV people, and one rejection after the other. Mm. And that we have got T2I TV UK where we are having our own platform where nobody even tells us that look, um, you, you have to uh, finish it within one hour. No, this is our own platform, we control That's our it. it's on the internet. We are watching, and I think these are That's some of the things we need to really wrap our head around it. That sometimes, if we are rejected, it's a sign that you have to start on your own. Oh, yes, oh, and, yes. And, and I'm so happy now. This platform is moving in a direction. That I, I'm happy because we are running it at our own pace, our own style, and we are not under any pressure. You know, That's it. you don't need to go and pay money to somebody for them to come and you know, it's there's a whole lot. But I think you are making very good points. I think I've got so much comments here. Let me read them before we bring this to a close. Um, I've got an slick saying, bless up, and he says, hey, I'm also talented. Oh. Then Osei Kofi Baku say, go well, Douglas. Daniel Entry say, good show. Kwesi Opoku says, one of the best around. Diana Apeto says, that is true. Kofi Efa Bebio says, watching live. 
Joseph Apia says, watching live, brother. Then I've got Duke Nemo. The first feeling is the best feeling. Then Albert Ade say thanks. Then Sylvia Ajima Bedu says, Douglas, I will call you for more. That is a good. You have already got a client over there. Huh? Don't, <laughs> my sister, yeah. don't forget my 10%, okay? Then I've got, <laughs> I've got um, Albert Ade say smashing, smashing. You are a good man, Mr. Nemo. Yeah, that's I'm Pastor Day. Yeah, the Amazon says thank you. Then Osei Kofi Bwafu says big dreams for Douglas. Then Kwame Nyaku says super. I think I've got more over there. Too many, too many comments. Then Abraham <laughs> says interesting. Then I've got Daniel Entry saying, do you have any means of training people in things like drop shipping, print on demand, etc.? Yeah, you can you answer in please? Yes, I've got um um um. I've got a free training that you can you can have. Um, get get in touch with me on Facebook if you want to get in touch with me, please. Um, oh, this... if, I get, if I get that number, just you just inbox me. I'll send your number to yeah, you. Okay. Yeah. 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 Oh, you can. Yes. You can. You can just call me on zero seven nine eight three six three two seven four two UK UK number. Yeah. So zero seven nine eight three six three two seven four two. You can WhatsApp me. Call me. And then we can take you from there. I have the free training. You can watch it. You can even implement the stuff and start it. If you want to go deeper, you want a mentorship, then we can do that as well. Mm -hmm. Wow, wow, wow. Now, we need to wrap up. But what does the future hold for internet-based businesses? And anyone that is watching, what does the internet-based businesses, what does the future hold? I mean, let's, let's look at the COVID time now, look at alone the pandemic has shown us the the loopholes that it look at look at um the Acadian group mm -hmm. with top shop and yeah. all this. They, they, they were calling them analog businesses in an in a in a digital world. You know, they failed to make that transition online fully. And mm -hmm. all those companies who did that are paying the price now. Mm. This pandemic has shown us, I mean, e-commerce, everybody is ordering online and e-commerce is, is it's, it's just beginning. Mm. There is massive opportunity. Every day, millions are coming online. Mm. Every day, millions are buying on Amazon. Mm. Go on Amazon. Go on Amazon and type in even Kenke, Ghana Kenke. Look how people are selling Kenke mm. from, from, from home. They are selling Kenke, Shito, anything. So just ask yourself. This is this is my advice to you. Mm. Ask yourself, just look deep in yourself. What are you good at? Mm -hmm. There's something in you. Mm. Everybody has got that one. I call it personal oil. Next time, I'll come here and talk to Oscar about that. Mm -hmm. There's something. So you, you have to dig deep in yourself. Do research. Download all those. When you're on your phone, download apps like Amazon.com, eBay, Etsy, and just look at what people are selling there. And that will give you idea. If you don't know where, where to start, just go on Etsy and... Amazon, those um, um, apps, they give you suggestion. Mm. Or just type in Google, Amazon bestsellers. Amazon will show you the bestsellers in every category, just for inspiration. So for your homework, for your homework, download the apps that I've um, told you about. Download Etsy app, the Amazon app, eBay app, and just go through the categories. Just look at what people are selling for inspiration and mm -hmm. i'm i'm 100 sure mm -hmm. you will definitely find something that you can sell online mm -hmm. it can be a physical product or it can be a digital product maybe you are expert in an area mm -hmm. package that knowledge and help people mm -hmm. who are looking for that knowledge mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. wow 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 Yes, package that knowledge and just sell it to people who are looking for that knowledge. There's a lot of opportunities at stake for us, but it is up to us to really take it. If you are watching us, we encourage you to share this 
Also, if you haven't liked our page, like it. Because if you have, if you like this interview, then it means that you will love the interviews that we have. Because we don't just bring anybody here. We bring people that are experts, consultants, people that on, have in-depth understanding of what they are doing for them to come on the show to really, you know, we, we want to really disrupt your life. We want to cause you to be restless, for you to take charge of your life. It's about time. Somebody it. told me, oh, uh, it go be. I said, that is the most useless statement that I don't want to hear in my life again. We've been in this country for 20 years, <laughs> and you are saying it go be. When it go be? The time is now. There is no other time. The time is now. We always <laughs> Poor mindset always gives you certain ways to comfort yourself. Yeah? It, it is well. No. It is not well. It is not well. Oscar, Oscar that was exactly what I wanted to say. After When we said it could be, it is well. It, it is, is well. well. It is well is one of the worst. Wait, it is well. No, go out there and do the job. After the job is done, then you can say it is well. It is well gives, like, um, excuse. It makes people hide behind you know people somebody's telling you how tough things are suffering within say it is well no. and then you block everything no. it is not well it, it is, is not well. well no it is <laughs> not well <laughs> you, you know it is no it is not well you say it is well it is not well <laughs> you know, we, have, we have to change these things it is not well <laughs> Oh my days! <laughs> you, need to, you, you need to go out there and get the right skills to make it work. Go out there and pursue that vision to make it work. Uh -huh. You see, the amazing thing at the same person you meet the person the next year, the person will be repeating it is well again. <laughs> and they have to move forward. You know, and the, and that, that 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 that's one thing. One one thing that. You know, sometimes we, 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 we think it's not everything that you can do mm. with prayer and fasting. Mm. Even when Jesus was on earth, he said he was confronted at that time. He was he, he had he had uh, he was um, one of his disciples asking, "Master, why didn't you cast? Why couldn't we do this?" And he said, "This one is by prayer and fasting. Mm. So these are tools. These are tools." Mm -hmm. To get a job done, there are some things that it is about knowledge. He said, "My people perish for lack of knowledge. You have to seek knowledge, mm -hmm. and that's what we, we this internet age. You have to seek that knowledge. Prayers alone. Sometimes we 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 will pray and we will fast and we will do everything, and we are still looking. God will not put internet skills in your head. No. Seek the knowledge, no. and a lot no. of the Hosea force says, "My people are perishing for lack of knowledge." Mm -hmm. That's the thing. We live in, in in a super abundant opportunities around us, but we are still struggling, mm -hmm. being destroyed financially. Our mm -hmm. kids, we don't have time for our kids, mm -hmm. all because we don't pursue knowledge, and I call it digital knowledge. Mm -hmm. So this is what we need. We need to renew the mind. Mm -hmm. We need to renew our minds and wow. start seeking this knowledge. If we will embrace this data knowledge, it will transform our lives. Mm. And that was a topic today, how to leverage the power of the internet mm. to transform your life. Mm. Time freedom, it will give you time freedom, it mm. will give you location freedom, and it will help you achieve financial freedom. Mm. If mm. you are in Ghana mm. or anywhere in Africa mm. and you are able to build an online business that even brings 500 pounds a month. Mm -hmm. Oscar, I think you'll be happy. Oh, you'll be very happy. You'll be okay. <laughs> you'll be okay. <laughs> but it's, it's interesting. And trust me, if we want to go on, we are going to go on and on and on and on. But it's about people, as we have said, everything, everything starts and finishes in the mind. And if you oh. can work on your mind, everything will be at your feet. So oh, yes. we are still here just because of our mindset. Yes. A lot of people we started with, they cannot really sustain the consistency. 
Why? Because they don't have the right mindset. The right mindset, the mindset. is everything. When you have got the right mindset, everything is secondary. Everything becomes secondary. The primary factor for you to succeed is to have the right mindset. That is why I have positioned myself on mindset. That is, yeah. if if you can succeed in the mind, then you can succeed outside. A lot of people have failed in the mind. That is why they are failed outside. But if you are successful in the mind, trust me, there's no way you can fail outside. Because you see, what the mind does is that I have never seen anybody that loves golf or loves football and they go on the pitch and they lose the match and they say the next day they are not going to play football again. Mm -hmm. that, is, that is what the right mindset is. The next day they go on the pitch, irrespective of how much they lost the last match, they mm -hmm. just go on the pitch and play again. Now, if you don't have the right mindset, when you lose that match, it's over. You don't want to know anything about football. That's so we need awful. to really develop the right mindset. And you see, there are people that even they lose the football match in the dressing room before they go on the pitch. Yes. Mm -hmm. Meaning that they have lost the battle in their mind before the whistle blows. And many yes. of us, we have lost the battle in the mind before the whistle blows. Like my friend was going to Ghana, is, he said he was going to try. He has already lost it in the mind yes. before he boarded the plane. So we need to develop the right mindset. For me, you can be the digital uh, um, guru, but I am I'm going to also be the mindset guru. I am yeah, I'm just focusing on the mind because I believe that if you set your mind right, there is nothing impossible absolutely. that you can achieve. Absolutely, absolutely, hundred percent. I started my first business in two thousand and three, a year after university. And I have failed and failed and failed and failed and failed. But they say the best form of failure is to fail forward. That's it. Mm -hmm. If you've got the right mindset, you don't fail backwards. Or when mm -hmm. you fail, you don't mm -hmm. see at where you fail. You mm -hmm. fail forward, meaning that you gather the pieces and mm -hmm. continue. Lots of people don't have that mindset. When mm -hmm. they fail, they prepare a five-bedroom bed, a nice bed, and they sleep at where they failed. That is mm -hmm. what the comfort zone is. They, oh, yeah. they, they sleep there and they die there just because of one failure. And mm -hmm. it, it's, it's amazing. Trust me, it's amazing. I think one day we need to come and just talk on mindset because I think it's something that everyone should work on. I always say this, mm -hmm. that you need to work on your mind before you even start that business. People look yeah. for resources instead of working on their minds. Now, when you get the resources and you don't have the right mindset, you are more likely to lose the resources. Why? Because anything yeah. that comes in, because you don't have the right mindset, you are more likely to give up. That's it. So there is a lot that, we, especially we Africans, those in diaspora and those in uh, our biggest challenge is not that because we've got resources so how can how can the continent that holds the world's largest resources uh inhabit the most poorest people oh, it yeah. doesn't make sense Very sad. No. so it means that no. having resources that africa has shown us that having the resources is not a means to success Meaning that you can have all the resources for your business, but you can feel what Africans they need is not leadership. For me, it's the right mindset. Because oh, yes. leadership stems from a particular mindset. So the fundamental problem is the mindset, not leadership. Because when you have got the right mindset, it will lead to the right leadership. Oh, yes. And this mindset. is what we need to work on. For me, one of my training programs. For example, now I'm partnering with other people, like your program. Okay, he wants to do this online business. What you do is that you bring them to me for me to work on their minds before you, they start the program with you. And that is the kind of partnership I'm building now with people. That look, if that person you are going to partner with your business does not have the right mindset, you are going to fail. So That's let me work on their minds so that their mindset is aligned to your vision and goals. Exactly. And so that Awful. when they start with you, they know where they stand, they know what they want to achieve, 
and they know what the future holds for them. With that, oh. you can have a formidable team. It's been wonderful having you. Oh. I've enjoyed this program, trust me. <laughs> me too. <laughs> I wish we can continue and continue, but it, trust me, it was so it was so natural, like our, our normal conversation, you know. Trust me, trust me. Yes, I think I've and, got one main comment here. Let me read it, then we are done. Um Evelyn Kube say, hmm, it's not well indeed. We are sitting on too many opportunities and we pamper ourselves with the phrase as well. Yes, it's a poor, I always say it's a poor man's statement. Of trying to run away yeah, yeah. from the hard work, and that, 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 says it. thank you very much. And Diana, Diana says fantastic. I will be in touch. Yes, it's been thank wonderful. You. Having you. And trust me, I think you have really um, got the tickets to come on the show anytime you feel like coming Amen. on the show because Amen. I'm trying to build a team of like-minded people that we are going to be a force for the continent and those in the Def definitely definitely wow. you know wow. I've, wow. Always, I've always supported uh, i mean your vision because i'm also the mind mind person and um mm. I, I love i love i mean mindset is everything and yeah. please continue to share what oscar is doing mm. oscar is doing i mean an amazing service to our community mm. share with your friends and um let's all help this movement mm. help this support his uh, his vision mm. and um anytime that um i mean you need anything about mindset or questions just go to him mm. or get in touch with me because we'll be doing a lot of stuff together mm. Mm -hmm. wow. and thank you everyone who spent time to join us I know your time is not wasted. Wow. wow. Any time that you need anything, I mean, online stuff, get in touch because I've got more stuff coming now. I've got more. I mean, 2021 is going to be mm. fire. Wow. <laughs> Date of fire. <laughs> wow. wow. Yeah, before I go, I just want to do some few mentions of our sponsors. This program is sponsored by Train to Inspire Consultancy. That is your business training and consulting firm. And that is for it is Train to Inspire also work with uh, schools and colleges and universities in terms of the personal development of students. Also, ALS Global Shipping and Logistics, your trusted import and export company based in Accra. ALS says if you are stranded at a port, Call them and they will sort you out. Zipay Ghana Limited, your remittance and mobile money company, they just launched their USSD code for mobile money, and that is star 270 hash. Just dial it on your phone and register for Zipay Mobile Money. With Zipay Mobile Money, you don't need an agent to register. Just on your phone, register for Zipay Mobile Money. Then wheels for sure. Your car leasing for every credit. Who's for sure says it doesn't matter your credit history, you can walk out of the garage with a car of your choice. When you call them, just put T2I 2020 and you are going to get the best of deals. Now, if you want to contact any of our sponsors, their numbers are scrolling on the screen, just take them and contact them. Also, if you want to sponsor any of our shows, just take the number for T2I TV UK or Train to Inspire Consultancy and contact us. Now, if you also want to support us and say, Oscar, the good work that you and your team are doing, we want to support you. You are more than happy to do so because we want to grow this platform for it to be that you see, we don't need to go to CNN for us to share a story like this. Mm -hmm. We need to have our own platform to share our yeah, own story. And for us to do this, we need your support. And your support can be any form of support. It can be money, it can be your advice, it can be your consultancy, it can be you sharing this page, liking this page. These are all forms of support. Let's work together because together we can, we can build and see the Africa we want to see. Now, Guru Douglas Nemo, please, your last word to everyone that is watching us. Um, this year has been a tough year. I mean, it's not been easy, but what I want to, you to take with you is this. Some people have lost their lives. 
Others are still in hospitals. But if you are watching, we thank God that we are alive. I, myself, my family, we had COVID and it was um, not easy, you know, but thank God we are alive. And the most important thing is that focus, because what I realized when we had a COVID was it takes like a bit of your drive away mm. and always have a purpose, be driven, be, 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 be driven. Don't be content where you are. You can do more. And sometimes we are very selfish. We think, oh, for me, it's fine. But it's not about you alone. There are some gifts God has put in you that is to come out to help other people. It's about impact. Mm. It's not for me. If it was just for myself, I would say, fine, I'm doing my business. It's fine. No, I want to make an impact. Mm. That's why I told my son and my daughter, we are going to launch the Youth Digital Academy to help the young one, young entrepreneurs, young data mentorship. So if there's one word I would say, I say don't give up. Don't give up on your life. No matter what you've gone through this year, be thankful. Gratitude. You are alive. And just no matter what you've lost, maybe financially things have been bad, but the most important you have time. You can lose money, but you can make it again. Time, when you lose time, you cannot bring back lost time. So please value time. If you don't value time, others will devalue your time. Value time because time is invaluable more. People say a time is money. But one of our men say time is not money. Time is more than money. Mm. So use your time wisely. Mm. Invest in your knowledge mm. and implement what you learn. And mm. there are people around you that can help you. Mm. Feel free to get in touch with myself, with Oscar. If I don't know, I can help you with friends. Mm. I have a huge network of knowledgeable digital entrepreneurs mm. who I can always go to if I need mm. advice. If I don't have it, I can get it for you. Mm. And I'm always sharing. So don't give up. Focus on your dreams mm. and everything will be well. Wow, wow, wow. Focus, focus, focus and have the spirit of gratitude. It's been amazing. We've spent over our time. It's worth it. Why? Because we want to give the best to people. And trust me, before you go, like our page and subscribe to our YouTube channel, that is TTY TV UK. And we want to encourage everyone that it can be done. Surround yourself with the right people. Sometimes the group that you are in is your biggest failure in life. Why? Yes. Because I, I, I always make this statement that if you are born an eagle, but you live among chickens, if you are not careful, you are going to lose your power of light. Why? Because you are going to live your life as the mindset of the chicken. That you just, instead of flying, you are just going to jump a little bit and just yeah. come down. Yeah. It's about time you surround yourself with the right people. If you are born an eagle, surround yourself with eagles. That's it. If you are born a chicken and you want to fly, and you surround yourself with chicken, there's no way you can fly. You need to get into the zone of eagles. You might not be able to fly like the way the eagles fly, but you can fly more than the chickens that have surrounded themselves with chicken. Mm -hmm. It's about oh. maximizing your potential. And it starts from now. Whatever you want to do, there is no tomorrow. I spoke to a friend yesterday, and he yeah. also told me that he got COVID, he nearly died. Whatever you want to do, the time is now because tomorrow no. is not assured. The only assured time is this moment that I'm speaking. If in the next minute, I don't know. So whatever opportunity you have, work it today as if today is the only opportunity you have. And that is the only way you can maximize your time. 
2020, I can tell you 95% out of 365 days, I have slept every single day, 3 a.m. When I make it, don't come and tell me in Sakawa. I have vested <laughs> in what I'm doing. <laughs> as, as, as we finish this interview, the whole night I am going to really uh, edit this interview and take out the best portion, few minutes, and share. And it is going to take me to like 3 a.m. The whole of last night I didn't sleep because I was marking script. You have to invest your time in what you are doing. That's it. You have to be passionate. I was looking for people to edit my stuff for me. I realized that they were wasting my time. I've learned how to edit my own. You have to really push yourself mm. to really achieve what you want to achieve. It will reach a time I will employ people for them to do this, but for now, I have to do it on my own. Why? Mm. Because I want to maximize my resources. It's about time. The time is now. I want you to be a testimony. And I want you to say, when you become a millionaire, and because of this interview, you become a millionaire. Don't forget our ten percent, me and ah, Obla. No, no, no. Ah, have, to no way. have a wonderful, wonderful day. We are coming here. Thank you. We are coming here Saturday, and Saturday I've got a young man, a young politician, all the way from Kenya, and he's going to talk about youth leadership, how we can uh -huh. drive leadership for it to achieve our goals as a continent and in our business. You can't afford to miss it. This is a global platform. We don't only interview people in Ghana. We interview people across the globe. It's going to be amazing. Join us. Eight, that is going to be 7 p.m. GMT, and that is going to be 10 p.m. Kenyan time. You cannot afford to miss it. Thank you very much, Mr. Nemo, for your time. I really enjoyed it, Thank and you. God richly bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for having wow. me. Thank you, everybody. Wow. And have a nice evening, and Merry Christmas in advance. <laughs> Merry Christmas in advance. Thank you very much. Wow. Thank you, Oscar. I'm so excited because the Step the Out Step TV, Out shows TV shows are back live on T2I TV. And for those who don't know, Step Out is a series of interviews and motivational segments designed to bring the best out of you and your business. Therefore, we have the following TV programs. 
Our first TV program, which is our flagship program, dubbed Step Out Step with out Oscar, with Bimpong, Oscar Bimpong, Bimpong, is designed to interview consultants, experts, talented people, and those doing exceptionally well in their communities. The second one is Step is Out Step SME, out, SME, SME Focus. 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 This is where we interview business owners and showcase their products and services. The third one is Step is Out step Youth, out impact, youth zone. impact Zone. This is where we interview young people succeeding against all odds to serve as an inspiration to other young people. And the last one is Step Out Authors, Authors Corner. Authors Corner. And this is where we interview authors to share what their book is about to the world. Join us every week. Like T2I TV on Facebook and subscribe to the YouTube channel. To advertise or for further information, do WhatsApp plus 44759-1152983 or plus 233-5580-3924. Or email info at train to inspire dot com. T to I T V. We engage, educate, enlighten, and empower. empower.